Right guys, George from Cyprus Insight. And finally, the crew have got their bleep out of bed. And we're going urban exploring. Come on guys, move. Right, we're going to go up to Milu and find some abandoned buildings and see what we can spot or maybe find some ghosts. Right guys, our first port of call, an abandoned bus. Apparently the bus driver was doing his last rounds and passed away before he could finish and then it was uh, left here so here it is the abandoned bus it's an old Morris there it is looks like someone's been here and opened it up oh they're using it for storage now look the beekeepers using it for storage. There we are. There's the roof rack where they put the old suitcases on. There we go. Looks like it's been here a while. It's been buried with all the leaves of the pine trees this is a water reservoir looks like for one of the farmers right let's go back to the old bus there we are So the guy was on his last journey, not that he knew that it was his last journey. Had a heart attack and that was it. Left the bus here. And now it's slowly been buried by all the leaves from the pine trees. Have a look inside. Here we are. There's the engine. Looks like the old Morris Thousand engine. Let's see if we can open the door. Whoa. Yep. There we go. It opens. Okay. Let's have a look inside. There we are. All right, we've got the speakers. Look. There we are. And the old uh, speedo there. Let's clean it up a bit. Oh, mind the cobwebs. Oh, God. Loads of cobwebs around. Uh, all over my head. Okay, see if we get that speed dial cleaned up. Right, what we got there? 68,000 kilometers. Oh no, it's miles. 68,000 miles, miles per hour. We've got some kids boots here. Probably the old passengers. Right, there we go. Some kids' boots. Oh, what was that? Oh, heard something. A little rustle. What else we got under here? Some spark plugs. What's that for? 
starter. Keys over there. Interior light still in place. And I think this was where the battery goes. No, nope. access to the engine. Looks like it's all complete. Starter there. Yep, alternator. All complete. And then he's got a look, a screen. There, here you go. And again, there's a roof rack. Where they'll throw all the suitcases and shopping on. Looks like there's an old safe there. Look. Let's have a look here. Yeah, an old safe. Looks like tr someone's tried to get in it and broke it open. There, totally empty. There you go, an old safe. So, there's the old Morris bus. Still got some shoes of the passengers left behind. Right, we've come across an abandoned house. And someone's using the grounds. Right, so guys, if we walk round his allotment or garden, we won't be treading on his plants and we can go and have a look at the abandoned house right here we are here we are let's go in and have a look at the first room There we are. Oh, what a beautiful view. Look at that. Through the window, we've got the old wooden beam. Look, still there. And it looks like a fig tree started to grow inside. What a lovely old building. Looks like part of the beams falling down and all the old limestyles come down right let's go on to the next room wouldn't it be a lovely lovely uh, bedroom wouldn't it okay looks like this is part of their courtyard can you see going round oh. and there's the original door there, beautiful old door, looks like it's got woodworm, there it is, okay, and uh, they're using this room for storage by the looks of it, there, they've got sun beds in here. So they're obviously renting out some 
think up the road, maybe part of a hotel or something. And you can see, look, the old sh shelving made of lava and plaster. Look, goes all the way round. Can you see it? And there's the fireplace over there and you can see the charred roof beams. And then there's another through lounge, I suppose. Look. Right, let's go on to this part of the abandoned building. There we go. This is the entrance from the main road. Look. And they're using this for storage as well. It's got the original door. There it is. And the keyhole. Look. There. Okay, so there's the original door. And uh, inside. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, sorry, we're doing some videoing. Right, so... One of our friendly neighbours have come over to see what we're doing and they said it's fine, carry on recording. Anyway, look at the old beds. Look. There we are. Put some light on them. And there's the old fireplace right in the corner. Okay. Again, you can see the charred beams at the top. Right. right, and here is the old Gleftigo oven, guys, show you. Of course, they will cook Gleftigo in there, but also, in olden times, they used to bake their bread in these ovens as well, practically everything. But, uh, apparently... They never used to light up their ovens every day. They used to share their ovens. So this particular household will light up their ovens and the neighbour would come round and put their bread in. And then vice versa, the neighbour would light up his oven and they would all share. Saves the wood. Look at that original window and the old wooden beam that's now bent look right so there's another abandoned house over there we're going to explore that one now just be careful we don't tread on any of the gardeners plants right let's go across this field here we are. Let's turn left under the olive tree. Right, as you can see, that's the main house there, and it's all built with limestone. Beautiful. And this part here of the house is made of mud and mud bricks. And I'll show you why. Let's go in. All right, so this is where they kept their animals. Here we are, and there's the troughs. There where they fed the animals. Look, you see. And many farmers would keep their animals literally next door to their house or some even kept them in their house and lived upstairs. Okay. So there's a the window. Yeah, see so there's a window so they can keep an eye on the animals through the window. Okay. 
and that's probably their front room behind there. It is bolted up. Okay, there you are. Again, the original old door. Must be 100 years old. There it is. Okay. Keyhole. Right. I'll just show you the uh, original house. So there's the house. And this is quite normal in them days. A house would consist of two rooms only. And there'd probably be bedrooms. So one, two. And the cooking would be done somewhere on the grounds and in an outbuilding. You see? And as I said before, there'd be a an annex for the animals. Right, let's go and have a look at this outbuilding. I suspect it's the toilet and part of the kitchen. Right, let's have a look. Yep, here we are. So this would have been the kitchen, believe it or not. Virtually collapsed. It'd probably be bigger than this. Because there's an oven there. There's the oven under there. Okay. And most probably this would be the toilet. Because uh, you can see that there's a cesspit down here. You see the concrete. Let's have a look. There it is. Right, let's just lift up this old uh, bit of roofing and see if we're right. Yep. Sure enough, there's the toilet. Looks like they've updated it at some point because it's normally just a hole. So there you are, your kitchen and toilet. And that'll be about it for a house, two bedrooms, courtyard, kitchen, toilet. Oh, and someone's made a table there. A bit of old concrete. Okay. Here we are. Right, guys. Come and have a look at this. Look, there's the old fashioned four poster bed. Probably this bed is about over a hundred years old. There it is. That is an original Cypriot four poster bed. There it is. There. You've got planks of wood, and this is the original quilt bedding there. There we are. Sorry, that's not a quilt, that's a mattress. Yep, that is the original Cypriot style mattress, what they had years ago, made of cotton. And some sort of uh, duct towel, I'm not sure, some sort of filling. There. Right, there's the other room. It's empty. Again, it's got a single bed, original. Right, guys, that was interesting, wasn't it? Old original bed. Uh, let's see how we can get out of here underneath the olive tree past the prickly pears and then down to the car right, so there's the old beekeeper's shed could have been an old house 
and just here near the crew there is the abandoned post office and it's got some outbuildings there I'm not sure if that building belongs to the post office I think that building belongs to this little house here the beekeepers house so let's go into the beekeepers house first and see what's there then we'll go round the back to the abandoned post office oops nearly slipped is everyone wearing appropriate shoes no oh we but you haven't slipped oh. so if you wear appropriate shoes you probably slip okay so here we are an abandoned old house looks like it's uh, built from asbestos this one or is it the concrete that's uh, smooth no I think it's asbestos it's got an asbestos roof there so there we are all right let's go in all right look at the old boards on the uh, ceiling oh, let's go inside oh, so it looks like it was a an old village house built with stone and mud bricks and then They've added asbestos boarding on the outside and on the roof. What you got there? Acorns? Nutshells. There's his old shoes. There we are. And there's Madame's shoes being left behind. Now look at these guys. These are actually in fashion again now, aren't they? High heel lady shoes. Right. There's the old traditional separate chair. Look at that. Here's the courtyard or the garden at the back. Not a lot to see here, overgrown. Right, let's go next door. Now what a beautiful basket. Look at that. Do you want to lift that up, Polly, and we'll have a look at it? No, thanks. Spiders. She doesn't want a spy. Okay, Richie. Ooh. Lift it up, let's have a look. Here we are. Look at that. That is the original basket, probably been around since this house was built. Have a look, see what else we can find. And the old tin buckets, look at those. And do you know what these are for? Richard, do you want to lift that up and I'll show you what that's for? Yep. Okay, so if you have a look, okay, this is for gathering the fruit. Okay, there we are. So you throw the fruit in there or it drop in there, you see. And if you put it upside down, put it upside down, Richard, and we'll show you. There we are. And then the bottom comes open. Ugh. Oh, he's tied it up. Let me see if I can get that for you. Since I'm holding the camera. Okay. Looks all tied up. Anyway, there's a little clip there. There it is. You see? And you undo that and the bottom lifts up. And then you can pour the fruit or whatever you're harvesting into a sack. You see, there's another one here. There it is. There's the old uh, tin bucket. Upside down. There we are. And there's the bottom. Lift it up. 
pour the harvest into a sack and then put the clip back. Okay. Right, we're going to the post office. We're going to use the back entrance because the door at the front's been blocked with an old butler sink. So we'll go around the back and have a look around, see what we can find in the old post office and see if we can find any clues about the old postmaster. Oh, so here we are, there's a courtyard. Okay. Looks like it's all been built with old limestone. Oh, pigeon just flew out. Yep, original doors. Okay. Right, let's go in and have a look. See what the old postmaster was doing looks like they were into weaving right so here's the old loom look and that'll go backwards and forwards Richard do you want to show us how the loom worked yes of course here we are so uh, yes, looks like there's a door in the way let's get that door or, or window out of the way and have a look pull that out does it come away so this is an original loom, probably, what, 80 years old? Probably more. More? Yeah. There we are. So that'll go backwards and forwards. Yeah. And I wonder if we can find the old shuttle. Is this the old shuttle? The flying shuttle. Could well be. Could be. The old flying shuttle. There it is. Yep. And then... This will hold whatever you're weaving. Look, a baton will go across there. And you'd sit here, wouldn't you? There's your seat there. Just there. Okay, so a very old loom. There's a original bed. Seen better days. And uh, one of the first Guff's ovens. Is it gas? Yes, one of the first gas ovens. Look at that. 1940s. Okay. Right, let's go through. There. There we go. We've got some original Coca Cola bottles. There. Right, wardrobe. Now we did come here uh, last year, guys, and it looks like someone's been in here and uh, smashed the place up a little bit, unfortunately. This wardrobe was uh, not in this condition when we last came in here. But anyway, there's the wardrobe, all made of solid wood. And there's the postmaster and postmistress. There they are. Is there any writing on the bottom? Let's have a look. Yep, might be something there. I'll have a look. Right, so there's the postmaster and postmistress on their wedding day. Oh, there's some writing on the back. I can't see it properly. There's no date, unfortunately. No. Nope. Oh, little swallows in here, look. There's a nest. Oh, where's their nest? Right above you to your left. Keep going up this. Next beam across. Next beam. Right to your left. Otherwise. There we go. Keep going. Oh, here we are, guys. There's the nest. 
There it is. There. Right, look at these chairs. There we are, original Cypriot chairs. And we'll have a look at the wardrobe. It's quite a fancy wardrobe. Here we are. There's his shirt he wore the last day. Look. Hang it up and never used it again. We've got the original electrics. And then at one stage they updated them. Look. So let's go next door and have a look around next door. Right, looks like the door's been kicked down. Right, there's the fireplace, quite a fancy fireplace. Look, in the middle, you fire and shelving all the way round. All made from limestone. That is a really fancy fireplace and surround, isn't it? There's some more old beds under there. There we are. Looks like they've updated their gas cooker. Roof started to fall in, unfortunately. Let's go through. This part, now this part would have been part of the post office here, just outside in the main road here is the sign for the post office, so this would have been the post office section, where they serve people, stamps and what have you, and there's a sink there. I was a sink there. Now they've uh, put it in front of the door so uh, people don't come in out of the street. And it looks like this corner's collapsed. Last year when we were here, this uh, was fine. It wasn't uh, open like that. So um, there's definitely been people here. Okay, what's our crew found? What have you found, Richard? We found some apricot jam. Apricot from, jam? From Hungary. Wow. And it's traditionally made, only sugar, apricots and pectin. And why Cyprus needs to import apricot jam is beyond me, but there we are. Wow. One pound of apricot jam in old money. Wow. And uh, has it got a date on it? I was looking for a date, but uh, I think this probably predates dates. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, before you need to put it on. Yeah. It's very old and I don't fancy opening that. It's nearly full of... Wow. It was jam. Let's open it. Do you want to open it? Let's open it. Right, guys, we're going to open the apricot jam. Oh, right, that was easy. Oh. There we go. There you go. I won't taste it, but... No. It probably still had it once when it's Do you know what? It looks okay. And it smells all right. Let's have a sniff. Not, not bad. God, that smells nice. Yeah. So that's probably 50 year old apricot jam. I think you should take that home for the girls. Yep. For breakfast tomorrow. Yep. They'd like that. Yeah, they, they won't know. We'll just put it on. No, the they won't know. It's 50 years old. Just put it on their toast. Yeah. Right. Can we have a look at some of these old Coca Cola bottles? Sure. Let's have a look. Wow. Let's dust that off. Oh, that's a Pepsi one. Again, I'm looking for dates. But... Yeah. Probably, like you say, predate. Yeah, it does. Uh, almost. What's that? That's just the uh, 355 milliliters. Was a strange right. number of milliliters you have in a bottle. What's that? Uh, it looks like we've got wine down there. Yeah. What we got there? It's 
seems to be an unlabeled wine bottle. Unlabeled. What about the uh, dark coloured ones over there? They look uh, yeah. interesting. Oh, brown bottle. Brown bottle. Oh. Uh, oh, it's oh, oh, it's Kiel. Yeah. Kiel beer. Right. There you go. Right. They might have had a little shop in here as well yeah. as the post office sold this stuff. Now, do you know what that is? Mm. Well, pick that up and I'll show you. Let's give it a dust off. That's a sieve. Mm, yeah. Okay. You put your uh, rice or whatever you're on there and sieve away. Or your flour. Okay. No. And that's all done with um, nails. It's all just made with old tin and nails. There we are. That's the other side. Probably 70, 80 years old. Maybe older. Who knows? Right, guys. What about this? Some old pots and pans there. What you found there? Some paint. Gloss finish. Oh, gloss finish paint. Yeah. Right, and the last room, it's got an arch. So, uh, the postmaster and postmistress, I do believe, must have been quite rich in the village to have such a ornate arch. In their house, look. Would have cost quite a few quid back in them days to have something like that made. Right, we'll show you the front. There we are. There's the front. Okay. And that's the room we went into with the ornate fireplace. And then if we go further, this is the post office. There we are. Let me stand back a bit. Hello, sir. Anyway, so there we are, the post office. You can see that the door's been blocked by that sink. You can't get in. Oh. Right, back to the beekeeper's shed or house. Hello. I think that might be the beekeeper, guys. He had one of those uh, funnels where you light it or whatever you do and you produce white smoke in the back of his truck. Right, I presume that this is the beekeeper's house and he's just using it for storage at the moment. So that's his... Uh, could be his little shop and then his house we went into down there right what's richard find oh look a little bit of honeycomb where'd you get that from just inside this box here just inside the box let's have a look leaned across oh show us another bit can we taste it oh he's got a box of it there we are. Oh wow. Look at that. I think it's a waxy finish to it. Look. I don't think we should try that. That's no, the bird poo that puts me off. Yeah. I think it's artificial. Starts them off or something. Look, it's got oh, wire going yeah. through it. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the wire? So it's uh, training honeycomb. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what they would use that for. It's on a roll. Oh, it's on a roll, is it? Oh, look, there's tons of it, yeah. Look, a block of it, you see? So they'd probably put that in there, and then the bees would just lay their honey inside them cones. Makes it quick, doesn't it? So there you go, guys. The abandoned bus when our poor bus driver had a heart attack and had to abandon his route. We saw the Cypriot four poster bed and then the post and postmaster's home and shop and the beekeeper's shop and home. Brilliant. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.